aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning crafters and welcome on board Air Hunky Dory. My name is Dan and I am your captain for this, this crafty voyage that we're going to depart on. Very exciting. I'm not alone today, of course, no. Uh, we have our cabin crew here. We have our co-captain, Emily, who is producing the show. Say hello, Emily. Good morning. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. And we have, in our crafty cockpit, uh, my friend and yours, she is our cabin crew demonstrator. Demonstrations will be over here to the left and over here. <laughs> With Natalie Mosbratt. Morning, Nat. Hi, how are you? Very well, how are you? I'm really good, thanks. Excellent. Have you had a nice day? I've had an okay day. Oh, okay. Why? What's happened? Okay. Um, well, I, I can smell apple in my car, but I, I can't... Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. You can smell apple in your car? Yeah, the smell okay. of apple is in my car, but I can't see an apple anywhere. <laughs> so the smell of apple is in your car, you can't see an apple? No. And then when I opened my car this morning, there was a few flies, which is not very nice. <laughs> there were flies in your car? Yeah. Okay. So Do you know what this is? This is travelling to TV and eating your car. Don't do it, people. Do no, not do it. Sausage could roll be. everywhere. Is, is there really? Like yes. Some sausage roll, sausage roll All gets over everywhere. the place. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Natalie. You Natalia. might have muted your mind. Have I muted my mind? Oh, no. Let's see if no. we can fix this. This is a good thing, Am people. I really? <laughs> Am I back? Hello. There you go, that sounds like it's on. Is it on? Is it on? No. He's on. No. Yeah, I'm on there. I can see I'm bouncing. It's fine, as long as you can hear me, that's the most important person talking. We don't need to hear Dan, that's, it's fine. It's very, very, very true. I'll do all the talking. Um, you can do all the showing. Okay, so we've got mic issues again. Uh, are you ready to come back to me, Em? Are we, are we on or are we, are we off? One mic definitely off. One mic is off. Who is it? Who is it? Should Who I have is a look? The offending? Should I have a look? We're not sure. It's one of us. Uh, I'm on. Just double check. Okay, so if you've got apple in your car, but you can't find an apple, am I right in saying that you've got cider in your car? Is that what's going on? No. Is it cider? I would like to say that I have alcohol in my car, but I most definitely do no, not. You shouldn't say you've got alcohol in your car. Why you not? Have alcohol in the car. Yeah, because then when if you go to a destination, you've got a party. It's very Just true. pop the boot open, that get started. True. And guys, we are going to have a party today uh, because it is the launch of our Everlasting Memories collection. Um, it, we're back on. Uh, it's the launch of our Emma Everlasting Memories collection. It looks like I've got sound, so fingers crossed that you no, guys... No, it's, it's everyone's saying it's you. It's me? It's you. It's you. You, you can't hear me. Uh, I'm like the noisiest person that I know. Oh, um, go on and off. Try on and off in. Shall I, shall I turn on? Okay, we'll, we'll turn go on back to I'll try and turn off and massively apologise to everybody. We'll on and off. Um, however, we have some fantastic things coming up on the show today. So. We'll, we'll get to it as soon as we can, as soon as we can actually hear Dan, because he's the one with all the good information, really. Um, but we have some fantastic offers um, coming to you today. We've also got a fantastic competition, which we run every single week for you guys. Um, it's a chance to win um, some fantastic products. This week's Win It Weekly competition, um, if are we, yep. are we ready? This week's Win It Weekly competition is... This week's competition is for you to win this beautiful frame. It's really lovely, perfect for this time of year as well. This is our festive foliage moonstone die. There's going to be five winners, people, five winners this week. I'll show you on the back so you can see. You get this beautiful frame, which is filled with holly and sprigs um, and a really nice sort of um, 
shaped detail in the center. Then you've got um, the different leaves. So these just allow you to build up your own sort of holly sprig so you can add them around the frames if you want to. So there's gonna be five winners this week. Um, this is 20 pounds, this die, um, and it's really good. I'm just thinking, this is gonna make some fantastic Christmas cards. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, people, can you hear me now? Can you This hear is good. Me? Okay, so I, I do believe that Emily has fixed it. What she has whispered to me is down, because the microphones go on the back here. Can you see the microphone there? The microphones go on the back. And then they go under, up, and round. Now, what I didn't realize is they're not meant to go under your underpants. They're meant to go oh, over your underpants. Damn. Oh, damn. Trust you. So there was me. I Trust thought it was a little you. bit, have I got a thong on today or something? What's happening? May I just point out, I do not wear thongs. Yeah, you do. I don't, unless it's a weekend. Uh, okay, we are back and we are in the room and we are up for it. Uh, so, the competition question, if you want to win this, Dan, is... It's a very good point. <laughs> Can you guess the sound? Comment. Like, share and comment with what you think it is. So let's hear that sound. Oh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? That's a tricky sound. Now, I saw that people were starting to get close to what this was on Monday's show. By the end of the show, we had people saying, okay, we think it's this, we think it's this, and people were getting close. Uh, but it's important that we know, can you guess this sound? Comment with your answer, good luck. One more time, Emily. It's a strange sound, isn't it? It's I a really like strange this sound. question. You this like is the a question? good question. It's very different. It is, it is. And I think that's why I like it. I like it, it's good. It's a good question. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we require your full attention as the uh, crabbing crew, cr not crabby, crabbing. not crabby, no. <laughs> oh no. As the crabby crew <laughs> uh, demonstrates uh, the in-flight entertainment on board today, our new Everlasting Memories collection. Let's take a look at a VT. That's right, it is time for us to reminisce about times gone by with this gorgeous Everlasting Memories collection. Uh, absolutely loving those car models that were made there, so the design team have done a beautiful job with those. Uh, love the VT. Let's take a look at what we've got in this collection. Okay, so here is your Everlasting Memories. We're looking at the Ultimate Collection first. Now the Ultimate Collection will contain your topper collection, it's also gonna contain your inserts and your papers and the beautiful tag pad as well. Uh, but let's show you through this gorgeous topper collection first. If you want the topper collection, it is available on its own at 1999. Uh, but it's great value. You save an extra fiver with this bundle at 32.97. So, um, Natalie, you were telling me just before you love this, don't you? Yeah, I think it's. Do you know what? Just looking at that, it's. <laughs> I wasn't going to use this word, but I'm going to. It's. It's got. It's quite a moody collection. Mo but moody in a good way. Yeah because it's very muted. It's very sort of like lovely and mysterious. It's got some beautiful rustic lace detail in the backgrounds, which I think is absolutely phenomenal because it's so detailed, but it's so beautifully printed that it's just, it's used sort of lost within everything. Mm. I also love how everything's in, in like this monochrome look, like all the main details. It's gorgeous. I mean, you've got beautiful. accents in here. You've got this pink accent, which is beautiful, and you've got the sort of green accents in there as well. Uh, now, this looks much... It's really tricky to show it on TV, isn't it, on, or on yes. screen. But this looks fantastic in real life. There's the green starting to shine through as well. Now, this has been uh, printed onto our Matastic board, which is exclusive to us here at Hunky Dory Crafts, our Matastic. You're going to get two of every sheet I'm showing you, including the 350 GSM cardstock here which because it's matastic, it's adorable scoreable. Yep. It's guaranteed not to crack when you crease, when you score it and fold no. it with our adorable scoreboard, which is brilliant. I love the rich gold foiling here. It's so pretty. And sort of like the swirls that you get in those borders, they are so just, they're just beautiful. 
all die cut. One of the things that you'll notice here with this artwork is that is that because and because it's matastic, you can add colour to this. You can. So whether you're using watercolour pencils, whether you're using brush markers, whatever you choose, whether you're using inks and just adding your own bit more bit of more colour to this, you can bring any colour you choose. So if you want to bring some blue into it, you do that. Isn't it lovely? Okay, so your um, your Everlasting Memories topper collection gets eight toppers, so two of every design that we've shown you, eight of these foiled sheets of cardstock, you can see the gorgeous foiled accents here, and eight sheets of printed cardstock, so it's two, each, two of every sheet that we've just shown you there, for just $19.99. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you, before we jump on to the, um, to the inserts and then through to the other items in this collection, I'm gonna show you some of these cards, because I think they really talk, they're beautiful. Love the stepper. That's a really nice one, isn't it? She looks fabulous, doesn't she? Yeah. It's very whimsical. That's a great word for it. And because you have like all these beautiful borders in there, there's just so much room for like the different types of card styles you can make with this one. It's just lovely. Can you see, guys, why I wore pink today? <laughs> that's right. It's beautiful. Isn't this lovely? So that's quite quirky, isn't it? Putting, it the, is. um, putting the frame at that angle. That just goes to show it doesn't. You don't have to keep keep to to what no. you would expect you meant to do. That's Kirsty Holkins done that. Kirsty Hoskins, sorry, has done that for us. Great job, Kirsty. Oh, love this. Love this. So we have an easel card, and that's uh, the cardstock just been die cut with one of our lovely scallop layering dies, nesting dies. Sorry, isn't that pretty? And it turns it into sort of a. It's like a china plate, really, isn't it? It is, it is. It has that sort of um, feel, doesn't it? Which is quite clever with it having the teacup on the front. Lovely samples here, lovely samples. I think this one's an... Is this one an easel yeah, again? Is. That's Steph Powell. Pop it open. There we Look go. At that. Beautiful. How beautiful. So you've got all different topper shapes in here. So you've seen as we've gone through, we've got, you've got sort of rectangular ones, you've got these ornate corners in here, you've got circular toppers as you could see, um, you've got oval toppers, you've got smaller size toppers that can be used for your, uh, your easel stoppers, if you will. You've got gorgeous frames. I mean, this is beautiful. Isn't that so nice as a card? I think this is gonna suit all ladies. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's, men, it's men's cards here. I think you're talking ladies' cards predominantly. Definitely, I feel. It's got a very feminine vibe to it, but it's just beautiful. Kelly Lloyd has made this for us, and she is, it, it, she's an absolute star. Again, we have that dimension within this card. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so lovely. Very, very, very nice. Very impressive. So, guys, you can see how beautiful this kit is and what you can make with it so very easily. Now Natalie is going to show us exactly what we can make with it, but first I'm going to show you the inserts and the papers. I'll just tidy up a little bit. I do apologise. There we go. I'm going to show you these because I really, really, really like I them. Love, yeah. we, we were taking a look at these just before the show went live. Now, as always, it's very, very tricky to show inserts on screen because you've got... Um, oh, here we go. I think she's going to try and focus in a little bit better. It's not easy. It's very, very difficult because they, the inserts, they're printed onto 140 GSM, uncoated paper, which means that you can stamp onto them, uh, you can add colour, you can do whatever you like to them. Um, but they're a, sort of a watermark effect. So you can see you get artwork in the corner. Now, if you want to, you can just fold that in half and you can pop it into an A5 card, no problem, and it'll yeah. be a perfect insert. Just finish your card, gorgeous. But if you want to, you can trim that down. So you could trim that down to 8x8, 6x6, and put it just on the inside facing um, facing you and use that as your insert. It's totally up to you. But you've got the artwork from the kit on these inserts throughout, as you can see. So you'll be able to marry up your topper or your image that you've used, your artwork that you've used from your cardstock. I love that you can do that. With an insert it and it matches. Yeah. Just fits so well, doesn't it? Now, it says there's 24 inserts for cards. Yes, 24 inserts, eight designs, three of each, but there's also papers in here. So that's slightly misleading because there are 36, 36 sheets 36 in here. 36 sheets, yeah, because okay. you're going to get the, the inserts and then you get these wonderful double-sided papers. Are you ready for me to show you these papers? Oh, wow. Wowzers. Isn't that fab? Really, really like it. Double-sided as well. So that's got this gorgeous lace design in here. Really pretty. Again, that lace design in the pink. So you can see now how this is going to work beautifully with the kit because we've mm -hmm. got the pinks the greens that we showed you before. How very pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, that's so attractive. 
I love sort of that a, base. a watercolor effect, isn't it? Yep. And again, because these are papers, you mm. can color these in. So if you want to add little bits of flowers, if you want to add inks on here to make it a bit more rustic, you can do that. Okay. So that's hearts, that's upside down. Sorry about that. There we go. But also you've got these keys. Something quite Harry Potter-esque about those keys, isn't there? It's the, yes. uh, it's the first one. Was, was the first one the Chamber of Secrets or the no, Philosopher's no, Stone? Philosopher's Stone. And if you remember, Harry, Harry had to... I oh, shouldn't key. say, just in case people haven't, haven't seen it, but... <laughs> Thanks for ruining the film for everyone. Um, <laughs> if you haven't so, seen it, then yeah. So there's two sheets of each of these. So if you you know you're not stuck to using one side and missing the other one, you don't need to. Loads more inserts in there as well. I think that's a brilliant product, and it goes really really well with your kit. Nine ninety nine, but you get those two together and the tag pad for Emily. will put it back up. Thirty two ninety seven. So you're saving a fiver. Let me show you this tag pad. Now we might be able to zoom in a little bit closer on this, I think. And uh, if I can keep, whoa, there we go. Uh, if I can keep in the right place. So the tag pads, because they are really ornate on the top and they've got this fabulous tag shape, they're actually padded at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when they open, they open like this, which actually is slightly easier than the other pads we do. We should probably pad all of them on the bottom so we can show them easier, I don't know. Yes, um, I agree with that. Okay, so first you've got that gorgeous perfume bottle. And I'll flip through. Here we go. You've got the uh, the cup and the, the saucer there. Uh, somewhere to write here as well, which I think is really nice. Now, what's nice about these tag pads is they've already got the, the little cent um, center section or the, or the hole here is already die cut so that you can just press it out, which I think is lovely. That's the lady there, so elegant. You get four of each as well. So if you'd love to decoupage, you can decoupage these up. Um, if you like to make things, if you're selling these on a stall, you could put these in as a little gift tag so that you can send a gift and a card that m coordinate. So there you go, you can see sort of the, the, the little hole popping out there has already been done for you. There's a present. So these are perfect for gift tags, but they look beautiful when they're used with your, with your collection. I'll be able to show you a couple of cards in a second with these, which are really pretty. Um, I've totally missed the show plan, haven't I, today? Yeah. Are you mad with me, Emily? A little bit. A little bit. Should we go? We, do you want to do the show plan before we do the first no, demo? No, no. okay. Fine. Look at the bird. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very pretty. I've said gorgeous quite a few times today. Please apologise. Tell me off if I say it again. It um, is, though. It's just such delicate and sort of magical in a way. It's really, really beautiful. I love how there's somewhere to write. I love that on all these tags because they, it just makes them, because you don't have to. If you want to put a sentiment on that, use this on your card and put a sentiment on top yeah, of that, you can. you can. So that sort of collaging up effect is really gonna work and work very nicely. I think I've missed one there, but you are absolutely getting the vibe of this tag pad. Isn't it pretty? Oh, let's go the right way, there we go. How very, very I beautiful. Love I love these. Just add it again. Add some colour to that. You could add little um, accents on there of pinks or blues or whatever you want. Um, you have that ability to do it across a whole range, which I absolutely love. So for people who want a touch of the Everlasting Memories collection, $7.99, your tag pad. But you get all that together for that amazing price in the bundle of £32.97. Shall we go across to our super demonstrator? and see what she is cooking up in the Air Hunky Dory kitchen. It's a very small kitchen because we're on a plane, remember. <laughs> I'm ready to cook up a storm, Daniel. Go on then, cook up a ready storm. Ready to cook up a stall. A, st a stall? A stall, yeah, because I can do that. I can definitely do that. So I'm gonna use um, Feminine Touches, the topper collection from um, the set, and I'm gonna use this beautiful um, foiled cardstock to go with it. And I've also, a little sneaky peek, um, got some matastic, um, but Dan will show you that later on in the show. So we've got a six by six. I'm gonna get my scoreboard. Um, we're just gonna line this up. And we're gonna score at three. And that's just gonna give us our base, um, because this is gonna be a little, a little, a little easel. A 
and that just goes to show how easy it is to create a simple easel. Definitely. You can move further on, can't you? And you can yeah. drop into it and so on, but creating a simple easel is that easy. It's that simple. So then I've got some Miri mats. These are six by six. We're just gonna cut. Let's do, actually, we're gonna, no, we're gonna do it with Miri. We're gonna do, cut this down to three by six and that's gonna go on the top. And then we've got one that is gonna go on the bottom. Then I think I'm gonna bring in this brown. So I'm gonna cut this brown to... Oh, I'd not thought that. Craft brown will go so well with this, this collection, won't it? This is the Mattastic. Oh, but oh it is would, that the This is the Mattastic, yeah. This is, this is a colour that was specially printed for this collection. Um, however, um, craft card would look absolutely beautiful with this collection. So I'm gonna do a little thin um, gold strip of Miri around here. So I'm cutting my Mattastic to two notches below six and that's going to give me a little two eighths of an inch around there. And then with this piece I'm going to do the same. So two notches below the three and two notches below the six. And then for our to go on top of that, we've got this beautiful cardstock. So I want that to be a quarter of an inch. I need to make sure I'm doing this right now. So we've got it to six. We've got two notches of gold then. It, yeah, and then I want a quarter of an inch of that brown showing around the outside. So that is going to take it to two notches above five and a half because that's as far as my math goes. You, well, you have to be a bit of a mathematician to, uh, you really for card do. making. But one of the joys is... And you this can is, make up your own maths. You can make up your own maths. And um, because there's never anything that's wrong, really, when you're making cards. There's just work in progress, I like this to think. This is true. And then I'm going to use this bit with a foil to go on the top. So let's start sticking this all down. So we can do our base first. Let me get my card stuck. So I've jumped into the comments, uh, Natalie. Yeah. Shirley Taylor says, bye bye wages. It was nice knowing you. It is Very a true. lovely, lovely kit. Jenny Holdsworth is not into Harry Potter, <sighs> uh, but Jeanette Batchelor says she remembers the first one and saying, what a lovely three headed dog while everyone else was screaming. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching the, um, the first one at the cinema with my friend. And um, I had to hide behind the cinema She's chair because it was. Because how old were we when that came out? Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> this isn't fair. I think we were maybe in year. Th I, I think I was maybe in year six at school. Really? So junior, the the last bit of junior school. Um, so yeah, I was. That was terrifying. It was. It was good. Harry Potter. Great. The last book. When the last book came out, I bought two of the last book, um, and they were delivered on the day that it launched. And I got one for De Debs and one for myself. And we spent the whole weekend just just reading. Just them. reading. Um, yeah, sat in the conservatory, uh, just reading the the Harry Potter book, and it was brilliant. Such a good book, though, isn't it? Yeah, and I finished it before she did, and I remember going, "Oh, oh no, oh no!" I was making all sounds like that. Like where where she was up to. Yeah. That's not very nice, Dan. Okay, so we've got our bottom layer, and then for our top piece, we're just going to add add tape to all the backs. Get it all done in one go. So we've got something different going on today, people. Uh, that we would have told you about oh, I had, had I behaved properly <laughs> and read through the show plan earlier on. Um, but when, when Natalie finishes this demo, we will, we will tell you what we're up to. Uh, and I think you'll like it. I hope so. I've got the wrong bit. I don't know what I've done. Maybe I haven't cut it down properly. Let's just see if this fits on here. This is the idea of, uh, of cut once... Uh, measure measure twice, cut once. No, isn't but it? So I, it gives you the I have so many to... different pieces yeah, that are all, all right. the different size. It's this bit. I haven't cut this bit down in the right size. Okay, so we got to... The good news is always when when you can cut down more. It's if you cut down too far, that's well, when that's you get what the problem, I thought I'd it? done at first, but I hadn't. I just got the wrong bit. One, two, three, four. There we go. 
good job I didn't stick it down straight away. So this, this is the right piece. We'll stick this on here. So there are people saying tape dispenser for the uh, for the sound. What do you think, Emily? Is that close? Mm. Or you're not giving anything away? No, she's not going to give anything away, is she? I do love make our everyone Winkley. suffer. Wait until Friday, people. That's a very good, um, very good question, though. I do like that. Jackie Bradley remembers reading the Harry Potter books and now her granddaughter's reading them. It's, it's quite a while they've been going on, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Ages. I think they're part of school now as well. Are they? Yeah. That's cool. Temp uh, contemporary literature. Isn't it crazy that that's contemporary? Yeah. Crazy. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off here because it's going to annoy me if I don't do it. I'm going to just peel this back off and we're going to redo that bit again because I didn't stick it down straight. Don't worry. And it was, it was, it was killing me inside. Don't worry. So Wendy Aldridge says she's missing Sheila. Uh, Sheila's on leave, so she's using some holidays up. She is. She's been a busy bee and she's accrued so many holidays that we had to say, look, Sheila, you're going to have to take these now. Um, so she is enjoying herself, I am sure. Well, this is what's happened. So this year... And I'm sure people at home are finding the same thing. You, you've not really used many holidays because there's not been that much that we can do, has there? Uh, with restrictions that are going on and, and, you know, we probably don't want to get too deep into the whole restriction conversation, do we? But, um, so, people, you know, there's not been that much to do. So you get to this point of the year and you find that you've got bucket loads of holidays. Mm -hmm. How many people are having all of December off? Do you know what oh, I mean? I would it's, love uh, all of December It's amazing, off. isn't that it? That would be so much fun. Did you say me, Emily? Yeah, no, Emily, I've, you're I've not. Got loads of you have got loads of holidays left, haven't you? <laughs> okay. Jan, Jane Hyde has never read them or seen the films. Harry Potter's really good. We like Harry Potter. It's very good. But it's got absolutely nothing to do with our Everlasting Memories Ultimate Collection. I have to admit that. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's typical us no. here, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we've got all our layers together now and you can see how beautifully it looks. And um, you'll be able to tell now why I use that layer of matastic because um, the topper that I'm going to use has this beautiful frame on it, which is covered in that beautiful brown um, sort of detailing. And I wanted you to be, I wanted to be able to use that um, just so that it works throughout yeah the... so it sort of brings it all together and it works really well so we're going to stick this on now and then I've got a little sentiment which we're going to use as a stopper which is really beautiful and it says um, my love for you is everlasting so you know if you're a male crafter um, this is a beautiful collection um, for those special occasions for the ladies in your life Beautiful. It is. I think people will be very happy to receive a card made with this collection. It's lovely. It is. So you're using a... So I'm using the strips. Um, these are the bigger strips from our... Um, I, th I think they come in five and two metre strips. I might be wrong there, though, if I am. Correct me. So you've got love for your grey nail polish, Natalie. Oh, I'm loving the darker colours now. Because, is, it, is that because of the time of year? Yeah. So you've moved across I've moved into... across now. I don't think it's acceptable to have bright pink nails this time of the year. Oh, do you not? No. Well, your skirt today, people can't see, but your skirt today is a lovely sort of red wine colour, isn't it? Yeah, I've full on moved, moved my suit you're, into... You're autumnal. I'm autumnal now. I was going to wear a crazy jumpsuit that I bought the other week in the sale. Um, I might wear it on Friday, actually, because the collection we're doing is quite crazy on Friday. Um, so... But I just thought it's it's a bit too it's a bit too summery. But I do love it. Emily thinks there's no such thing. <laughs> Julie, uh, w get well soon. Julie's watching from the hospital today after having knee surgery, so she's just oh, come back no. up from X-ray. Uh, fingers crossed that's all gone well for you. And she can't have visitors, so nice chatting to us. Yeah, they, you, people can't at the minute, can they? No. Uh, people who are in the hospital can't have visitors at all. It's Got a real to be shame. Super safe. In the, in the hospital at the moment, don't you? So then, like I said, we're going to add this little tag as a stopper. So if we put, pull this up now, it stops probably right about there. 
So I'm just going to add this to this side because we have that beautiful imagery that you want to be able to see. And then I'm just going to use my score tool just to score the back down because we have added layers there um, and that's just going to help it to fold back. But then when we move it to the close up cam, let's move that away. There you go. You can see how lovely it looks and how adding that beautiful um, brown to the edges of your card really added a little bit of an extra touch to it. Um, so that is a way that you can use this collection. If you just get the top collection on its own, if you add some little extras in, um, these are the types of things that you can be making at home. Natalie, I think that's beautiful. And we are going to look at some stamps next. Uh, the stamps in this collection, there's also some Moonstone dies coming up, which are lovely, we'll show you those in a minute. But uh, we talked about doing something slightly different. And uh, Emily, am I right in saying that we like to have a little Q and A? Yeah. Q &A. Is that good? So. What we're saying here this morning, guys, is ask us anything, absolutely anything, anything. Oh, there's a little graphic. Which way? That way. Ask us anything. Um, if you would like to ask us anything about Hunky Dory, anything craft related, anything non-craft related if you want to, uh, ask us anything and uh, put your, pop your comments in. You can do it on YouTube or you can do it on Facebook. Uh, and then later on, Emily will ask us some questions. If you've got any questions for Natalie, if you've got any questions for myself, if you've got any questions about what's coming up, if you've got any questions about um, what launches are happening, about what deals and offers are going to be on, anything that you want there to be on, ask us any questions that you've ever thought. Do you know what? I'd like to ask. Ask it. Adorable scoreable, you Do name it. it, you ask it, we'll answer it. Do That's it. our plan, okay. Uh, and I think that'd be quite nice. Let's see, um, see what happens. And let's try and keep them relatively clean. Um, it is, it's- Oh, Dan, only you would think it's, that. It's, uh, it's past the watershed in some places in the world. So, you know, it's probably not too bad, but relatively clean we'll have to do. Okay, so we've shown you this ultimate collection, which is lovely. Um, quick reminder on the Win It Weekly. So, if you would like to be in with a chance of winning this gorgeous festive foliage die, um, Moonstone cutting die, let's see whether we can get that on the close-up, which we will in a sec. There are nine dies in here, uh, and you'll see them there. So you get this gorgeous foliage that you can build up and create these sort of large oval wreaths, if you will, but very, very pretty. They're really, really nice. Worth £19.99, this Moonstone cutting die. There are going to be five winners. We're going to give them away on our Thank Craft It's Friday show, which is very special, by the way, uh, this week, coming to you on Friday. Very, very special. Make sure you are here with us at 10 a.m. on Friday. It's uber. Um, uber, uber, uber cool. Get a taxi, get in it, and get here. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, you see the uber <laughs> reference there? Yeah, yes, you know. that was good. Yes. That was very clever. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very um, clever. It was, yeah, I'm not allowed to tell jokes today on a, on, a, on a live launch, you see, so that's as good as we get. Um, okay, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning this, please, please, please comment with your answer to this question. Can you guess the sound? It's the first time we've done one of these. What is the sound? We want you to like, share, and comment. If you, uh, if you want to like and share, we would absolutely love you to. Uh, please do comment with your answer. Five people who give the right answer on, fri um, on Friday, on any of our shows, so Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or indeed on the Hub, you can enter on the Hunky Dory Hub as well. Five people are going to, uh, to win this. Can you guess this sound? What is it? One more time, Emily, one more time. What is that? There is an action that goes with it. There is, isn't there? Do you know what? Am I giving it, it away? Do you know what, though? It's quite funny because as that was playing, I could hear it out in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Natalie's given you an idea there. It is something that occurs in the warehouse, and we hear it many, 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 many times a day, many hundreds of times a day, if not thousands of times a day. Um, okay, let's jump on to our gorgeous stamp sets. We'll do this one first, um, uh, code 37. This is lovely. It's always nice, show, oh sorry, we've, we've messed with the camera so we'll have to play around with them again, but it's always nice being able to see the stamps at the front. Um, you can see the size here. So we're talking a full A5 set, which are 10 pounds, which I think is an incredible deal. And Our A6 size. sets are, are eight pounds. Yeah. So for an A5 right. set, which is twice the size, to be 10 pounds is amazing. It's only two pounds more. So you've got three large centerpiece stamps in here, but there's nine stamps in total, including sentiments. It's always easiest if I show you this way. 
because you can actually see them colored. Now you do not need to color them in these colors. You can use any colors that you want. You can use brush markers, which I reckon that's what you're gonna use. I am it? gonna use my brush markers. You can use brush markers. Um, you can just stamp them as they are. You can use embossing powder. They are acrylic stamps. This is called Graceful in Lace, which is very, very pretty. Uh, you've got the, um, the, the, so the old style sewing machine here, which is beautiful. Uh, you've got the lady there, so you've got a couple of large ones, the corset. It's very, very pretty. Uh, but it's not the only stamp. I'll show you a card that's been made, just to give you an idea of what can be done with this. Um, have a beautiful day, which is such a lovely sentiment. And important. Uh, but there is also a second stamp set. Here we go. And again, we'll show you the other side. This is our ex exquisite beauty stamp set. There's florals in here, which are really pretty. There's the lady sat down. Is it a lady? Is it a girl? Let me just check. It's a younger girl sat down. You've also got the cup on there as well. But there's 11 stamps in this one. Again, it's the same size, so don't worry about the number of stamps, whether it's 9 or 11. You get the same, same size um, base plate, if you will. Uh, these acrylic stamps, they're good, nice depth to them. Um, and they're, si they're easily clean with a bit of stamp cleaner. Yeah. No problemo. Uh, very, very nice. But I've got a couple of cards I can show you. And then we're going to go across to, oh, I'll show you some Matastic that Natalie mentioned before. And then we'll go across to my mate Natalie. In the galley, I was corrected earlier on, it is not the kitchen, you're it's in the galley. galley. Absolutely. Isn't it lovely? So again, we've stuck with this sort of pink theme, but you do not need to add in some purple there. Isn't that brilliant? So lovely. That's very clever. Very, very clever. That's very clever how that's been done. Um, who's that? It just says card four, so I don't know who did it. Rachel did these cards. Did Rachel do yeah, them? Yeah, and they're, um, they're all featured in our Next magazine as well. So in the Next magazine. If you want to know how to, how to make these, make sure you look out for issue 56. Issue 56, and this is called Sending Get Well Gish Get Well Get Well Gishes Get Well, well wishes, wishes. Funnily enough, uh, part of our crabby crew. Um, okay, <laughs> Mattastic. Right, guys. So you love Mattastic. I love Mattastic. We all love it when there are 30 sheets of Mattastic, and that's what we've got here. I'll have to move some of these out of the way. I'm not being rude with them. I'll just pop them there. Let me show you colours that you can see. Colours that really, really go with this collection. Uh, aren't they beautiful? So you've got that beautiful pink, soft pink, uh, which is what you want with this collection. Um, beautiful uh, ivory. Magnolia. Magnolia, well said, that's correct. And the green? Forest fern. Forest fern, oh, she's good. The brun. This is our roasted coffee. Mmm. It looks like that's the right colour, roasted coffee. We can see why you named it that, Natalie, well done. What's this in that? This is our soft white. Yeah. So this is a colour that was specifically made for this collection and it doesn't yet have a name. Oh, but does I it not? think something along the lines of mushrooms. I think I think mushroom yes, but it would be early mushroom, I call it. Early mushroom. <laughs> early mushroom, yeah. It's not it's not old enough that mushroom to have gone that funny colour that they go inside. Uh, yeah. Guys at home. It's Mauve. It's, there's nothing mauve about it. No, I think I, I think the one coming smoky up is brown. mauve. What's a mauve? This might be smoky brown. Mauve. Mauve. Mauve was a um, mauve had a friend called Chaz, <laughs> and he was he was on he was on Tony Hart. He was, wasn't he? That was mauve. Yeah. Mauve. What's mauve? I think that one must be the smoky mauve, brown. Mauve, darling. It's mauve, it's and it's mauve. definitely not mauve. That's, um, so that's smoky brown. brown. It's early mushroom. Uh, nothing at all like late mushroom, which are when they've gone all the big... Oh, I don't like those big ones. I like baby oh, button I mushrooms. Big, I like any oh, mushrooms. I like mushrooms. You like the big... Do you like the big mushrooms? You yeah. know the ones... The portobello. And they're yeah. like, they're oh, like yeah. this, and they've got all these things. Get them. <laughs> fill them with cream cheese, some breadcrumbs, put oh, them yeah. in the oven. Garlic, oh, so oh I can't do it. People Why? say that mushrooms are quite meaty, aren't they? They're yeah, quite... They uh, I can't do so it. so good. Are they baby button mushrooms, the, oh, the nice. really, and the smaller the better. So when you're in this in the supermarket, you get the really really small ones, and you do them in butter. I know it's not in butter, but you do them in butter. Ooh, and they're still firm. <laughs> they're nice. Sunday dinner, I'm having that portobello. Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner. Dan. What? Okay, this is an ask anything question. Ask Dan, <laughs> why on earth do you have mushrooms with your Sunday dinner? <laughs> it's, 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 Where's is, that, the is that a bad thing? Where's That's that come from? Is this a Cornish <laughs> thing? Does I'm, this come I'm, from your Cornish heritage? I put them in my Yorkshire's. I don't... No. 
No. No. Have I gone wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> Carry on with your colours. Anyway, it's mauve, Move not mauve, on. Emily. Um, yeah. Now that's more man. I don't know. That's that's very nice. Yeah, I like these colours. They're absolutely lovely. So there's there's a there's a, a beautiful deep grey here as well. Oh what, yes. What this pretty is colour. Slate grey. Slate grey. Okay. okay guys, so you get thirty sheets here. Um is it thirty sheets? This sheet's three of each. Three of each of ten, that's correct. So I'm not going to show you them all because you've seen one of each, I do believe. £9.99, 30 sheets of A4 Matastic cardstock, and it's the 350 GSM cardstock, so you know that it's going to stand um, firm and true. Very, very nice. We like it. Let's pop across to Natalia and see what she's doing. I'm going to do a stamp card. Um, we're going to use the Graceful, Graceful stamp set. Um, Sorry, I was taking a drink now. Um, there's Exquisite Beauty, and the other one is something graceful. graceful in Lace. There we go, Graceful in Lace. There we've got. I'm going to use a beautiful sewing machine because I absolutely love it. And we're going to do Cherish the Memories We Have Together. So I was thinking, you know, if, if someone in your life taught you how to sew, how to use a sewing machine, what a lovely little card to make for someone to brighten their day. So I'm doing this on a piece of... Um, four by six watercolor cardstock. So I'm just gonna stamp this out first of all. Um, I'm gonna use VersaFine because I'm using my brush markers. Um, so you want a permanent ink to use with those water-based markers. So I'm gonna stamp this out first of all. And I love, I love this sewing machine. There's so much detail in here. You've got the little fancy flourishes that you'd have on those really old vintage ones. So one thing that I don't have in my little vintage collection of weird and wonderful things at home is a sewing machine. I have a lots of other weird and wonderful things, like a black and white TV. You have a black and white TV? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where? Sorry, oh, wow. I was reading some of the comments now, <laughs> so I sort of just picked up black like, and white TV. What? Yeah, I have a collection of like weird things. They're not weird, they're really cool actually. Um, but yeah. I have a a really old um, record player. I have a cassette player. Cassette players are ace. I like cassette players. Um, they said there's that there's that meme that's going around, isn't there? That that has a, a cassette and a pencil next to each other, and it says um, the people under the age of I can't remember people born after I can't remember what the year was will have no idea how these two things are related mm -hmm. because a pencil and a cassette tape it was how you how you you know when it when it because it did they did didn't they they all the all the tape would come out and get stuck in the uh, in the tape machine it really would and and you'd have to take it all out and oh and, and you, I remember you it was always your favorite. That was back in the day though. Now they've got like the rewind button, haven't they? It was always your favorite. But it is quite um, cool. Your favorite tape, and you get a bit where it goes <laughs> like that. And they stretched over time, you know. Yeah. So the longer ones, you used to get some C one. This is I'm getting boring here, so I do apologize. But you used to get one twenty. So like sixties were the normal ones, yeah, yeah. sixty minutes. But you get one twenties as well. Um, and those those were, but they were really quite bad because they would stretch. You can still buy them as well to um, to record onto. Can you? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I have a a nineteen fifties Sony black and white TV that actually works. Wow, that's um, brilliant. So I had to buy a device because obviously TVs back in the day didn't connect to anything. So you had to buy a device to um, hook it up to a DVD player. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, it still works. And Dan's like. It just sits there. Why do we have it here? I'm like, because it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Wendy Aldridge's got an antique sewing machine and still uses oh, it. This How is what beautiful. I need. That's what one thing that I need. When we grow up and buy our big house, as I keep saying to him, that's what I'll get. I'll, I'll have a room full of weird and wonderful things. So what I've done here is I've taken this stamp it's a beautiful, oh, that's going to have moved, only just. Um, it's a beautiful stamp um, and it's great for creating backgrounds with which um, you will see I've created here. Um, so I've just used my acrylic block, used my ink and I've um, sort of rotated the pattern each time so it's not going to be the same. And then this is going to sit on top of it so it just gives it that beautiful feel. 
So then we can add just like a wash of colour because I don't want to get too detailed with this. But we're going to bring in our water brushes and our markers. Um, and I, I am going to think I'm going to keep with that feel, that pink feel. Um, I'm going to use a, quite a bright pink though. And I'm going to use this green. So I'm just going to go around my background and add colour to my leaves first of all. And so I'm adding a lot of colour, just a little bit. Natalie, we started to get some good questions. Um, my favourite question so far, I have to say, is from Maggie McKenzie. And her question is, what is the noise you keep playing? <laughs> That's <laughs> a good question. Very, 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 very clever. Good. Talking about the, the noise that is the question for our Win It Weekly uh, this week. Guys, if, if there are a lot of people who are saying tape dispenser or packaging tape, uh, or something along those lines, I can tell you that if you were right, any of those answers would be acceptable. Uh, it's, it would be, uh, you know, that sort of thing. It wouldn't have to be totally specific, would it? No. It no. doesn't have to be, if it was tape, it doesn't have to be the kind of tape. It doesn't have to be... We're not that cruel. We're not that cruel, no. So, um, but there's people, there's a lot of people who seem to have an answer here. I would be, I'd, I'd be asking for the colour and everything. Is that how you do it now? Oh, yeah. If, you, if you're going to win it, you've got to... You've got to, you've you've got to got make to, people work for it. Yep. You've got to get it all right. So we're just, it looks really random, but I'm adding colour to the parts of the flower that I would, if I was really properly colouring this in, um, that I would add a lot more colour to. So like the centre of your flowers, the edges, the bottoms, where the flowers sort of lean forwards. Um, and I'm just going to colour that bit in there. Um, and then when we use this wonderful thing, this magnificent tool, um, a water brush, you will see how that colour is then going to drag out and create a beautiful, um, really nice watercolour um, wash, which for this type of flower and for this type of stamp, I think is absolutely stunning. Um, oh, you can see it, can't you? And you don't have to be really specific when you do this because, you know, watercolour, when you create that sort of wash look, it does have um, a kind of like a, an edgy um, feel to it. So you're welcome to go in, add more colour. If you want more bits to be brighter than others, you can do that. Um, but I just think just adding that little bit of colour, dragging it out from those spots where you want it to be more vibrant it just adds a beautiful look to it so we've nearly finished with our background it's quite relaxing this as well isn't it natalie oh i love coloring it's my most favorite thing to do especially when it you're doing you something great. like this where you are it's not where you, you don't have to keep within the lines. It doesn't no. have to be specific. No one's gonna gonna mark you at the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it's it? It's down to you on how you um, color this in and how sort of into it you want to get. So we're just gonna um, change my water brush and I'm just going over the leafy bits. I love this. So Linda says, brown tape dispenser. Liz says, squeaky works trolley. Um, Dorian says brown tape dispenser. Uh, Mary Grace Mann says white tape with purple writing parcel tape runner. Oh, she knows that we've changed. <laughs> Wendy's decided it's a black tape dispenser gun. Um, you're, you're all doing very, very well. Very well. So then the same again um, with this. I'm just going to be a little bit more, because this is the front of the card, I'm going to be a bit more specific with um, where... I'm going to add the colour to. We've got these beautiful little dots in here as well. So I'm going to use my fine liner to colour these in. Because um, you could use your brush marker, but it is, that's what this fine liner is for, for getting in those little areas. So is this watercolour card that you're using here, Natalie? Yeah, I'm using Ruth the premium watercolour card, which is the best 
card for using these um, pens on. It's when, just that little bit thicker, isn't it? Yeah, it's really it is, good. but it's absolutely fantastic. And these pens work wonderfully with with this. We, When we brought out our pens, we tested quite a lot of paper. I remember every single day, Adam would come over with a new sheet. We just test this. Um, so we wanted to make sure that what we were bringing to you was the best. And this definitely, definitely is. So these old ones have a really nice sort of wooden feel to them. So we're going to just use this brown here um, to do that. I'm going to use the pink on the spool. On the spool. So I like the multi-buy here. So if you're thinking about size-wise, uh, the, the A6 stamps that we do that are, that are eight pounds each, we have them on a multi-buy of three for two. So that's 16 pounds for three which is three A6s. Now this is two A5s, which obviously is larger, mm -hmm. um, and they retail for 17.50 on the multi-buy. So uh, that, that's a really good price because you're getting sort of four A6s worth, aren't you? You are. So you're gonna get kind of more for- More, more for, for your, your money. money. And that's what we like. And then, I thought this was a bit more of a deeper blue, but it's actually purple, but that's not a problem. Nat, are you using a different water brush for each color? Um, no, I'm using a different water brush depending on what I'm color, what area I'm colouring. So I'm using the thinner one for like the smaller areas, and then the bigger one for the the bigger the bigger areas that I'm colouring in. Um, so then, just to finish this off, I want to add, and this is going to look crazy. I want to add like a a rustic edge. So I'm just going to line my cardstock with this brown and then I'm going to get the fattest water brush which is a whopper it's got a really really good brush um, thick brush end and we're just going to wash this out um, I'm going to add a lot of water let's just push this out now I've got a couple of friends who have said that they would have Baby butter mushrooms on a roast. Oh my gosh. No, that's strange. But admittedly, more people who wouldn't. Um, yeah. It's, I'll admit that. I will admit it. I mean, I'm sure it's a really nice concoction. I'm, I'm sure it works. I can see how it would work. Um, but yeah. It's, well, it's food, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> any, any kind of food's any good, food, any kind of food's good. Any food works, doesn't it? That's how it's working at the minute. Hey, lockdown stone, they call it, don't they? Yeah, I'm on my second. <laughs> so I'm just going to work that colour around a bit more um, so those edges aren't quite as harsh. And then we can stick this together. So now you've got like that really sort of oldy-worldy, sort of rustic, edge if I just get the heat tool we can just dry dry that out a bit because otherwise it's not going to stick and then we can put our card together a bit better now oh we got some good questions coming in though we've got some very good questions coming in um am I allowed to start asking or are you going to start asking M or do we are we doing this after we can wait. Oh, that's dangerous. Sounds, that sounds interesting. It does sound no, interesting. No, you can wait. So then, I need to find a clean spot on here. With our tape, our finger lift tape, we're going to stick this onto a five by seven. Um, so this piece of um, this piece of card that I did the background in is five by seven in size, and then the smaller piece is four by six so it's going to give you a nice um, edge around your card so Anne Bertwistle Brown says cafe au lait for the new color matastic I think that's we probably a good a idea cafe au lait, probably though. slightly better than light mushroom definitely better and than definitely mushroom. better than was it mauve what is mauve mauve is like a more purpley color it's is mauve. It? Uh, I've never said mauve have you never said mauve oh. is it People, will you Maybe do me a favour? Just... Can I ask you guys a question? Maybe yours is it posh. mauve or is it mauve? How are you going to be able to tell that? That's really tricky. Um, either, either, oh, either write O, yeah. 
O, just O, or write O R, like or, morve, morve, morve or move, move or move. It's probably both, is it? I don't know. How tricky. It's all three. Zara Harper likes big mushrooms with cheese pesto and balsamic vinegar. Oh, fancy. I'm a big pesto fan. I love oh, pesto. I like pesto. We, I think I'm pretty sure it's pesto tonight. I know it's sausage pasta. Oh, yeah. I think it's pesto tonight. So then you've got that really nice detailed background with the um, that beautiful floral stamp. But then you've got that sort of really nice centerpiece that you've just made a little bit more. It just stands out with adding that background to it. Um, but I love these stamps and the, the way that you can colour them in, in whichever colour you want to, um, so you can make them personal to other people, which is nice as well. I think that's lovely. Love it. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to break your heart, Emily, I'm afraid. <laughs> there's a whole lot of O's coming in. Um, there's a lot of O's coming in. I believe people agree it is mauve, not mauve. I can't even say what you say. Mauve. 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 Mar Marvin, Marvin. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, have we got any questions, Emma? You're going to ask us a couple of questions. I'm uh, excited about questions. We have one for Natalie. Natalie. Oh no. Let's go across. Uh, from Tracy Wilcox. She okay. asked, "What is your favourite collection?" Hmm. This year? Can I do this year? Let's do the, let's, this year. And let's do all time. Oh. Okay. So this year. I think my favourite collection, oh, I was thinking about it then, but actually it, my favourite collection of this year has been Stitch It. I have absolutely loved Stitch It. Have you? Yeah, so it this is the so Stitch It Moonstone dies. Yeah, so we launched them last week actually, which is crazy. Um, but then I also really liked the Christmas Aperture Stamps and Dies. If I, if I can have a favourite for each different category. Go on then, have then a favourite for each different stitch, category. Stitch It is my favourite Moonstone launch. Christmas, Wonder, Aperture, Stamps and Dyes were my favourite. I absolutely love them. So you're really into dyes then? Dyes and Stamps, yeah. Dyes and Stamps, I love dyes and stamps. My favourite paper craft collection is probably going to be... Oh, I don't know. There's been so many good ones. <laughs> it's tricky, isn't it? I'm trying to think back at what we've actually done this year because we're, we're into next year now. So it's, it's amazing. That's that's quite interesting. So we we are currently working on yeah. on the middle and to the end of 2021. It's Would you insane. believe that? Isn't that insane? Uh, I'll tell you what my favourite collection of all time is. Um, Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, nothing was stirring, not even a mouse. Oh that, yeah, that is your all-time favourite, Yeah, favorite, it's my all-time it? favourite. I, I think the artwork for that, there's a guy called Marcello Corti who, who um, did the artwork and it's, it's just absolutely, ins it's insane, it's beautiful. Um, what other questions have we got? Have we got some good ones? I'm waiting on them. Oh no, oh, oh, I've, no. I've seen quite a few, I've seen quite a few, yes, yeah, so you might have missed some, yeah. Um, we had, there was a question about the new club gift oh. and when will it be arriving? Oh. Whatever you do, be here with us at 10 a.m. on Friday morning this week. Do it. Whatever you do, make sure you're with us at 10 a.m. on Friday this week. Now, that is a massive exclusive. That's, super, uh, that's really super, quite super exciting. Super. Okay, let's jump into um, these last two dies, the last two products we'll show you, and then we'll do some more uh, questions and answers whilst we are, uh, whilst Natalie is, is yes. doing her last demonstration. Okay. That's a good idea. So we've got two cutting dies here. We've got the Vintage Elegance cutting die. Uh, which you can see in white there, and you can see with the uh, with the, the the silver of the the stainless steel there. Again, these are moonstone cutting dies in the size that you have come to expect from us at fourteen ninety nine, which goes straight into, and I love that they go straight into the multi buy of yes. any two for for twenty four ninety eight. And um, so, Nat, what would you use this one for? I'm, so I'm this one's beautiful. This. You can cut it directly into a four by six card and make this really nice front to your cards. It's also, you can use that for, um, if you like to make your own envelopes, you can make it for that. You can um, actually make this die bigger, which is something I'm gonna show you how to do. So you can um, flip it over um, and make a larger frame with that one as well. 
Um, but it's really stunning. It also, and something Stacey does with her dies, and it's really clever, is she makes them really easy to sort of like cut into and make different corners and um, edges with. So you can do that as well if you just like those really pretty um, edges that you can see on the top and bottom there. You can cut them out from your die, um, just snip them away and use them as little corners. You can see how intricate it is and how beautifully ornate it is, isn't it lovely? Okay, and there's a second large format die as well. And again, these can be uh, can be done, put into, cut into the edge of a card so yeah. that so that you get the um, uh, sort of the whole front beat of the card being a beautiful ornate one. So. Background panels, absolutely. Panels for your toppers to go on, absolutely. But again, really attractive. So we've got it here used with the, get it the right way around, Dan, sorry. Other way. There Is that go. the right way or the other way? Yeah, yeah there we go, thank way. you. Sorry, it's so difficult with the cameras. Um, there's, there it is used with the tag and used with, uh, with, this, with the gorgeous panel behind. We also have it here. I think this is stunning. Oh, it looks beautiful in gold mirror. It is gorgeous. And it would obviously look gorgeous in silver mirror as well, or indeed any other colour mirror. But look at the... So you've got some depth there with the acetate. I don't know if you can just pick it up. There we go. Um, but just used as a centrepiece there. So pretty. With the oval. Really, really works, doesn't it? So embroidered elegance moonstone die, only fourteen ninety nine. And uh, let's see what Natalie can do, and we'll find some questions. Da 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 da. I'm excited for this. So we've got some gold mirror, and we're gonna use that corner corner die, but we're gonna extend it slightly. So first of all, I'm gonna stick this in place and we're gonna run it through our trusty Gemini machine. I'm gonna find some tape. So uh, let's see, Neil Thompson has asked, what do you do with your seconds that print slightly wrong? As crafters, we will buy these. Uh, it's a great idea, Neil, but we have very few. Our guys who do the um, the, the production it's are absolutely true. genius. So there's a few when they make the, the product ready uh, and get it ready, but they're not really properly foiled. And then the second that it starts foiling, foiling, they don't move. They're um, The way it's done, it's done to a register, so it's done really, really um, cleverly. So we don't have them. What we do, all the bits and bats that we have left, uh, go into a box and the uh, the staff, uh, we, we uh, are allowed to take them if they choose. Uh, anything that is left goes and gets recycled. So we recycle everything here at Onkidori. And all of our board waste and uh, cut off bits and extras at the sides and everything all get recycled, um, which I think is really important. We've got, from a recycling perspective, we do really, really well. We've got renewable energy as well. Um, so all the energy that we use here, the energy that's the lights in the studio, mm -hmm. and the electrics for, for, for the, for the die cutting machine, the big machines are run on renewable electricity as well, so everything is done is done in that way, which is which I think is brilliant. Um, uh, we've done we've done what the, when the next club gift is coming. Have you got any more for us uh, there, Emily? Joe Herring has asked, what did you do before working? Who? Oh, should we both do both of us? Okay, you go first. I'll go first. Um, I did also. I was very very lucky, so I managed to do uh, to do all sorts of jobs before I came here. I worked for a place called Tetrab, which um, which make sofas like phenomenal sofas, really really good ones. Um, and uh, I did production planning, I did sales, I did um, I did like, IT. Uh, I, I worked through my way through the departments, if you will. I ended up doing some finance at the end before I left, and it sort of set me up really nicely for when I joined and did this job with uh, mum and dad. Um, we started it from the dining room. Uh, and we had all the all the stock in the um, all all in the bedrooms and everything, and, and started sending out orders from there. So that's uh, that's going that's back crazy some time. Though. To know that because I always because I've never never heard that story before. So I always thought that hunky dory was just something that that's the first thing that you started at. So that is really interesting. Oh no no no! I, well, like my first job. Oh, you like this. Oh, my no. first job was knocking on doors, uh, asking people if they wanted to sign up for a trial to buy the Lancashire Evening Post, have the Lancashire Evening Post delivered. So our local yeah. paper and having it delivered. Um, and so I've knocked on every, most doors in the Northwest anyway, uh, I've knocked How on at some point. How crazy is that? Um, yeah, it was crazy. So all the way down to Wigan, um, across to Blackpool, uh, all the way across. So we just knock on every door, excuse me, would you like to... And most of the, and there were some very strange things happened. I, one day I'll tell you some of the stories about 
the things that you see when you knock on people's doors because it's quite interesting. The things that you see. The things that you see. The things that you see. How about see. you, Natalie? What did you do um, before Hunky Dory? Before Hunky Dory, so I was a events coordinator at a hotel. Um, so oh. I organised like um, parties and weddings and Christmas parties, things like that. Um, I also, at the same hotel, did um, some of the reservations there as well. So did all the room reservations, organising where people, where people were staying for that evening. And then before that, I um, worked at Royal Lytham Golf Club. Did you? Um, yeah, I was a um, like a just a waitress at Royal Lytham Golf Club for quite a while, sort of like in and between uni and before that. Um, but it's really annoying because I started the year after the Open. I was there when they did the Walker Cup, which is like um, younger players from America and um, England and Europe that play against each other. So I was there for that, and then I left just before another tournament it might have been the ladies open may have been but yeah i've had many photos taken with the um and held on numerous occasions however you do have to wear gloves the open trophy really because, you have to wear gloves yeah because yeah. each each um each each open course this is a secret each open course has their own trophy oh do they so yeah. it's not one trophy you've got no. your own unless it's like a big unless it's coming up to the big event, um, you all have a trophy cabinet which has... Um, a fake? I know, yeah. I guess, yeah. A yeah. replica is a the replica. right way to, to call it, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. That's interesting. Had lots of photographs with that. And then before that, what did I do before that? I think I worked in a hotel um, on Blackpool Front for... Good old Blackpool. I know, from, for quite a while, so yeah. Um, there you go. Excellent. Fascinating. Uh, Joan Herring says she's got musicians in her family. Please, can we make more cards with drums, guitars and singers? It would be great. Ooh. Something musical coming next year. Uh, I know that because we've done a lot of work on 2021 already. Um, have you got any more questions? Oh, I've got, I've got a really, really good question here. Oh, no. Faith Berry. Good morning, all. My question, as a collector of Moonstone dies, is Ooh. could you do something that I and other collectors can use as a reference to see what sets we are missing? Oh, that's um, clever. Also, I, also, so I don't buy sets a second time, which has happened. And my other question was, is there any chance that sets which are not currently available may, might be brought back? I've got some gaps I would love to be able to fill. We're not planning on bringing old ones back because there's a, we're always moving forward and there's new ones coming through. Uh, an idea of, of having a resource to be able to see all of them is a brilliant one. Um, and well done for I that. Like that. Uh, Faith, congratulations, because I'll pass that on to Stacey. Or Emily, will you pass it on to Stacey? Yeah. And we'll see if we can get that done because I really, really like it. I think it would be brilliant. Um, and yeah, and also when we do that, we could also do cards that have been made with it so that people can see. I think that would be really nice as well. That's a good idea. Um, and then we can see whether we've got any, I mean, there are always, when you get to the end of, uh, of a, the stock of a product, this is going to sound a bit strange, but you get to the end of a stock of a product and it sells out on the website. Sometimes when you go to the product, there are, uh, the, the place where it is, there are still five left, let's say. Um, yeah, there's always some sneaky ones. There's some there. sneaky ones that can hang around. Now, it might well be, and then it takes a while for those to go back on stock, you see. And sometimes they get put in a place where they go down to Inspirations, our shop. Yeah. So it might be that we can, that once we've done that and got that resource, we can find, you know, it's very, it would be small numbers, but find small oh, yeah, numbers of some small of the older numbers. ones. That might help. That would be cool, though. That would be super cool. So um, I'm making a A5 card here, and as you can see, I've doubled up my die. Um, so it's doubled on both sides. I'm just going to um, now add some. Um, I've got some of this beautiful uh, burlaps, which has a wonderful piece of lace that goes across it. And this is just something we had in the craft room. Um, but I know that you'll definitely be able to pick this up from um, craft retailers, stores, bits and things like that. So I'm going to put this... Let's just stick it across. So this is going to go in the middle of my card. Um, it's just going to add a bit more texture. Oh, I've just stuck it to this Miri. What a lemon. <laughs> Let's 
see if we can get that off. Don't worry, it'll go. be fine. And then we'll stick it to the other side. Lynn Parry says, Dan, is there a product out there which you, which you wish Hunky Dory had invented? Oh, that's a good question. It's a very, very, very good question. So um, the, the favorite product that we've invented was the Adorable Scoreboard. Absolutely love it. Um, really, 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 really good. Proud of it. From a, okay, so two things probably from a personal perspective and from a business perspective. From a business perspective, you'd be daft not to say the Gemini. Of course. Um, simply because of how many um, Geminis have sold Gemini. The Gemini is a really, really it's good. It's amazing, isn't it? And I mean, you've got the big one now, you've got the small one, you've got the Gemini Go. Um, yeah, that is, it's a, it's a very, very good idea. I there. think so, I think it's really cool. Um, from a personal perspective as to what I love the most or like the most, do you know what? It might be something parchment related. I absolutely adore parchment. I love parchment. So maybe it would be, it would be you know, um, Barbara, Barbara Gray, Clarity's uh, groovy stuff. I really like that. Um, so it's maybe it would be something along those lines. Um, I'm not sure. I think, I think there's so much innovation within our field that we do, our team, do, do such a great, great job. You know, without, so Decolage, Mirror Magic, those sort of things have, have, been, have been phenomenal products that we've made um, and still do. But, uh, but yeah, I think that, hope, so hopefully that answers that question. There's a lot of people saying, so I'm going through, flicking through, finding these questions, um, and it's my fault, but there's a lot of talk about mushrooms. There's a lot of talk about mushrooms. It is uh, is definitely my fault. Um, Moira's daughter puts jam in her Yorkshire puddings. Oh, I can see how that's quite nice, though. I don't I, know about oh, that. Oh, no, yeah. I want something warm in a Yorkshire pudding. I, I know, but if you think about it, Yorkshire puddings are the same it's like as a it's it's, a, it is, it's the same it? as like a pancake, and you'd have that with sweet stuff. So why not have sweet stuff in New Yorkshire's? I might try that. Anne says that she loves the stamping platform you've used, Natalie. Is it available to purchase, please? It would make life so much easier. And it is available to purchase on it our website. Is. The stamping platform that Natalie used is called the Stamping Press. If you just type Stamping Press into the search engine, you will find it there. It is there. It is brilliant, and it is in stock. It is amazing. I think it is, and it, it's, this is a big thing to say, but I do think it's one of the best ones out there. It's, I think it's the best one out there. Because I genuinely do. I, I, I don't think there's, again, there's any other compare. With everything, we always test other products before we bring ours, our own out. And there was another one, wasn't there, when we were looking at stamping presses that we were going to go with. What, one of two designs uh, were in our final two designs, and the other one was a hinge one. It's, it's, it was, it it was essentially the same, it, but, with hinge, but it, with a hinge. And, it was moving, yeah. wasn't it? And we were like, no, this isn't, this isn't going to work. Um, you're not going to get a perfect image. But, so it's a good thing. So we're going to add this little bow. Um, so you can see how this is starting to build up now. We've used um, the beautiful frame to sort of frame our uh, tag pad. We've used some extra little elements here, including um, that beautiful burlap with the lace, which I think works perfectly um, with the background that we've chosen because it has these beautiful pink hearts with the laces in. Natalie Ruthen says, can we have a sneaky peek of the club gift? The, the answer is no, I'm afraid. You will have to be with us at 10 a.m. on Friday. Abby says, is it a northern thing saying gonna instead of going to? It absolutely is. Yeah, we just don't pronounce things properly. So, uh, up north is, yeah, we, we, we do try our best, um, but uh, yeah, it, it's same as yeah and things like that. There's, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of that, it's quite yeah. a... Up north, it's, um, it's strange. But there we go. When is the next team challenge, Shelley Whitehead says. Ooh. Another week we or two, Emily? We need to do one soon, definitely. Yeah, another week or two, next, next team challenge, which will be brilliant. So then we can put this onto um, a little piece of Miri, making sure that we're doing that nice and equally. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Just let's use a glue stick, because that's going to be less mess if i can find one here we go i'm going to just use a little bit of glue i'm going to lift up this um die here and just then stick that down onto the mirror and um, because it is lifted up a little bit because we've only stuck that centerpiece down oh my bow's coming off now 
Jane has asked, what do we do with made up cards? Um, I can tell you, and I, I like it a lot. They go to charity. Uh, so the cards, they, they go from here to create, when they're made, they go to Create and Craft yeah. and they get showcased on Create and Craft. They Come get here. showcased here with us. They go um, to the shop. Photog yeah, there's photography. So they get, they, they get showcased in the magazines and, um, and on our website yeah. and in blogs and so on. Uh, and then, yes, they go down to the shop, uh, which is Inspirations in Press and Super Craft Store. Uh, and they, they stay there for a period of time. And then when the product has gone, um, they are then, the, the backs are taken off them, I believe, and they're, they're mounted onto, because the backs often have um, what products have been used and, and the person's name who's done them and so on and so forth. Uh, the backs are taken off and they're mounted onto a new card and they are put together with envelopes and they go to charity, which is a lovely thing, I think. Uh, so they get a life after, after being shown I off, if that makes lovely. sense. Valerie Todd, Dan, are you going to do a compendium number nine, please? I am going to break your heart, and I'm so, so sorry. We're not doing compendiums. Um, the reason being that the, the magazine is, is, is increased in size and is so large now. Yeah, it's huge. The compendium would just be so big. It would, you know, we, we, we talked about it. We put the number of, of magazines that there would be together in the, and, and realized that it just wasn't sustainable. It was going to end up being... The price was going to be so high, yeah. and we we want things to be accessible, really, and not to be, um, to uh, you know, to be inaccessible price-wise. We try and get everything uh, that, that's the right sort of price, and it was going to be too much. Um, so we're not, I'm afraid. Oh, now I need to find one where I can give a really good positive answer, don't I? Oops. It is lovely. Your card's lovely now. Yeah, there's lots of different elements on this, which I really, really like. Um, it just shows how the whole collection. Um, really pulls together so beautifully. I'm not going to add a sentiment on here because um, I just like the image that you've got and the symmetry, the, the symmetry, there we go, the symmetry that you've got with, um, you know, extending that die, having the, the border across the center um, and then having a little bit of decoupage with the lady there as well. Um, so yeah, it's a collection that really works together wonderfully. All the elements are beautiful. I've really enjoyed watching you work with uh, with this collection today. I think it's it's beautiful. It's a lovely collection. It is really nice. And I think what you've done with it is beautiful. So lovely cards there, Natalie. Thank you so much today. Thank and you. thank you very much for flying air hunky dory, everybody. Uh, and please be with us. Join us on Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, Emily, are we going to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. And Natalie, we're we going to say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, everybody. I have been Dan Newhouse, your captain, uh, and I look forward to flying with you again at some point on one of our live launches very soon. We'll see you 10 a.m. Friday morning. Do not be late. Make sure you're there. Uh, we'll be there with bells on. We're really looking forward to it. See you soon, guys. Bye now. Mm -hmm.